and it's a failure by the police to take action on intelligence, which may have paved the way for the Mpeketoni attacks that saw more than 60 people lose their lives in two days of ruthless killings in the coastal region. Now, this is according to a report released today by the Independent Police Oversight Authority, or IPOA, which also says that a senior police officer could have aided in the smuggling of weapons that were used in the attacks. Now, Inspector General of Police David Kimayo has put Lamu County under curfew since the attacks and launched a joint police and military operation in the area. Following the attack on Peketoni on 15th June 2014, uh, subsequent follow-up operations appeared disjointed. A full-time command post operation center was not established to coordinate the follow-up operation. The IPOA team was informed that at one time, the operation was taken over by the senior commanders from the regional and national headquarters, and the operational commanders on ground were left to watch. An officer who was, who was leading the team that was pursuing the attackers was ordered to withdraw from the operation and report back to Peketoni to receive the delegation from Nairobi. The IPOA team was informed that the operation to pursue the attackers was delayed and even abandoned as all efforts were directed towards meeting the high-level delegation from Nairobi headed by officers that we've not uh, named here. We, a blame game ensued where the senior commanders from Nairobi were blaming the commanders on the ground for failure to prevent the attack, while the commanders on the ground were passing blame to each other on the delayed response. Had the attackers been uh, pursued on 16th June 2014, it is likely that they would not have had the opportunity to execute the second attack in Kijijoni, which is about 10 kilometers inland from Kaisari.